All right, right now we're going to do a little demonstration um, and uh, check out how much voltage we can achieve at a given RPM um, with a particular winding, with the uh, Y winding in this generator head uh, or this permanent magnet alternator. Um, we're using the um, permanent magnet motor that we made from an alternator as the motor, um, controlling it with a 40 amp hobby wing electronic speed controller. Um, and although this wasn't my, this isn't my, um, we're only using this to test the voltage output on this. Originally, my plan was to have this set up right here, my generator where I could take those three phases, rectify one of them to charge my batteries, and use the other two at, was hoping to get 60 volts a piece and run them two into my, um, into my power outlet and run my RV like that with just this. And I still believe it can be achieved um, possibly, uh, once I figure out the programming of, um, either, uh, a variable frequency drive that I have, or these, um, ST, um, drivers, and I'm kind of at a standstill, because two days ago when I was making, uh, my last video, my Savannah cat um, reached over and chewed on the corner of my screen and cracked my MacBook. So um, I'm kind of screwed up for a little bit until I can get it repaired. Um, anyway, so right now we're just going to check the given voltage. Once I can achieve the best voltage at the lowest RPM, um, I have another setup idea. Um, for the generator, which this will be powered by a um, by water, um, and I'll get more into that later uh, in more detail. All right, let's go. drawing my battery down a little bit. I'm powering this with a 200 amp hour lithium 
uh, lithium polymer LiPo 4 battery and um, my charge controller still says that I'm at 100% but I went from 14 and then Alright, so right now we're in a completely closed loop. We have no shore power in the RV. I'm running everything from the inverter. We're at 100, uh, 1500 watts. The um, charge controller has, tells me that the battery is stabilized at 80%, 12.7 volts. By the time we get to the inverter, we're down to 12.3 volts, but everything is stable. That is connected to a 200 amp hour uh, LiPo 4 cell um, battery. Um, I'll get a shot of the roof and show you. Um, we got four 235 watt solar panels up top, but they cannot push that much wattage at the same time without crashing um, without crash period this device right here for sure is allowing me to power my entire RV in a closed circuit in a closed loop including my 1300 watt air conditioner so mission successful um, I am Again, I am looking for a more uh, durable option than this um, Hobby Wing Speed controller. I am. Um, I just got my MacBook back from um, from Apple the other day. I told you my Savannah bit the corner of it and cracked the damn screen, so I wasn't able to dig any more into this but I really don't have time. Like, if somebody wants to, you know, exchange information, um, I'll help you, you help me. Um, I need to figure out how, what I need to do to program this thing to run, to run this generator. Or, like I said, the, um, the variable frequency drive. Either way, I'm looking for the most efficient means to power it at the highest RPMs um, and something that'll last. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get a shot and show you guys what I got up on the roof of the solar panels and try to get this video out there too. But with 
Now, the battery that this is charging at the moment is not tied to my solar panels at all. It is only being charged by this generator and it's pushing that 3000 watt traveler um, inverter and it's been pushing my air conditioner for about 20 minutes far longer than I can get out of it um, without the generator you know with without this setup so right now we're using a uh, hobby wing 40 amp uh, electronic speed controller my my worry on this thing is that it's not going to work for prolonged use almost, i'm almost certain it won't work for prolonged use uh the temperature stable right now at 122 degrees um the motor temperature climbing a little bit we're at 109 i went from 105 to 109 in the last 10 minutes um i have a, an idea to cool the motor down because uh, i had to use some electrical uh liquid electrical tape to seal up some uh, shorts in this coil but i have a new coil that i'm gonna wire up today um, i'm also gonna wire it in a different configuration i'm gonna do another test in a uh in a delta configuration and see if i can get a, some more rpms uh while using uh less juice but also what i'm going to do today is um, i'm going to run everything i'm going to hook my generator up to the rv just as if it were a gas power generator powering everything and we're going to see how how far we can take it you know what we can do how much this thing will work. Um, as I said, one of the reasons for these videos is to um, push push this information out there and in return get some assistance on um, some uh, some things I could do better, some uh, some better modifications. Um, either a new speed controller or even some assistance. If anyone knows anything about the Fuji Frenic uh, variable frequency drive and how to get it operated, I can't get it to spin the motor. And um, it's probably something small that I'm not doing right in the configuration um, and the programming, but if I could get some assistance with that also, that would be great. Um, yeah, so you see what we got. It's pushing the air conditioner right now. That's my main my main worry is when we're out on our off-grid property, um, I have no way to power my air conditioner. And we just, that like pretty much shoots my whole summer there out the window if I plan on bringing, you know, the family and doing some sort of uh, work on the homestead. Um, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up everything else that I. All right, there's my four solar panels I got set up. Here's my AC exhaust. We we actually have a portable AC unit. Uh, I removed the one off the roof because it was old, stunk. I just didn't want to deal with it. I bought a brand new. Uh, Arctic King portable air conditioner sits on the floor and it's got a tube and that's where my exhaust tube runs so I just wanted to show you what I had going on up top and where our initial power is coming from this is what I started with um, I didn't know how much it was going to you know how much it was uh, I did not know 
how much power I was actually going to get from this in the end. You know, I didn't know how far it would get us, and it doesn't get us very far. I mean, it gets us by, but when the kids start playing games and um, and then and if you need to push an air conditioner, you're dead in the water. You need to fill up this entire roof to push the air conditioner, and then you, it's going to cost a couple thousand dollars in batteries. Um, so that battery I got cost me 700 bucks and uh, it, it, it goes better than the lithium than the AMG batteries that I had but it's not it's it's much easier um, or much more economical trying to do what I'm doing here and trying to find a true renewable source and a true um, perpetual energy system than to spend all that money in a storage um, you know like that's a lot of freaking money to store the power and if you can just regenerate it or keep it perpetually going then you're you're making out it's a step towards freedom